is half the truth. Economic growth improves lives. But what about the fact that growth is putting us all at risk? How could it happen that we educate managers who pretend that they can handle risks? And then a financial crisis enters through the back door. Half-truths are often the biggest lies. If you look at the UN Millennium Goals, none of them call for larger corporations or bigger profits. They all deal with social issues. Health, education, environment. All basic needs. So, what is growth? Is it financial gain and monetary benefit? Is profit growth? What should we grow for a better life? And why? It's time to put economics and management in its proper place. Serving people, planet, and then profit. The main factor in business school ranking is... How much a student earns after graduating. That's madness. We are growing a culture of greed. For over 50 years, we've taught management theories that are based on flawed assumptions. Our own benchmarks are no longer valid. Exponential growth is possible on a finite planet? Free markets are rational and efficient? Corporations have to maximize shareholder wealth. We've been measuring the wrong things. Crony capitalism produces agents who are unqualified to think and lead responsibly. The biggest problem, those leaders won't take us into a sustainable future. 50 plus 20 envisions an alternative. Now it is time to set new benchmarks. To take a wider perspective. See how interconnected things are. Management and business should return to their roots in philosophy. Exploring the path to the truth and a life worth living. The purpose has been lost. It has become empty. But people want purpose in what they do if they realize that the context of their work is empty. And on top of that, harmful. Then business becomes redundant. It's no longer relevant. Last year, a number of American business students walked out of class. They were fed up being taught free market capitalism as the only economic system. Today, when you teach economics, you teach capitalism by default. Business schools simply don't question the dominant economic paradigm. Simply adding ethics and sustainability to a curriculum that's already fundamentally flawed. It's urgent. This demands leaders with a transdisciplinary mindset. There's no planet B. Remember. 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 We have to educate, enable, engage. Take education. Leaders require empathy. A deep understanding of themselves and others. And the ability to relate these aspects to the environment.
We have to promote the moral courage to do the right thing. Orientated by social profit. Guided by practical wisdom. We have to develop the human being in the leader and the leader in the human being. Secondly, enable organizations to internalize the true value and true costs of doing business. We need stewards of the earth who understand the bigger picture, who look after the whole planet. They're not just after the share price. Finally, the biggest challenge, engage. How do we transform our economic system? It is about time that we break down the walls between academics and practitioners. Titles and tenure mean less and less. Become public intellectuals. Encourage public criticism. Make your research accessible. Deans and administrators shift management education towards the common good. Business schools set examples of new benchmarks for sustainable management. Fifty plus twenty is here to hold the space. To provide a powerful, safe environment. To invite the whole person. Soul, mind, heart and hands. We demonstrate a collaboratory of learning, teaching and research filled with the burning issues. Hunger, energy, water, climate, migration, corruption, democracy and capitalism that serve the common good. Complex shifts. We accept the challenge and we collaborate. We believe all of us own the responsibility to bring about change. We believe it is the responsibility of all of us to create change. We've been competing like mad to become the best in the world. Now it's time to become the best for the world. Najlepsze dla świata. Melhor para o mundo. Pour le monde. Pour le monde. For the world. For the world. For the world. For the world.